Welcome to Random Polyhedral Scenes, an image generator for active vision system experiments by the John Sosos Laboratory for Active and Attentive Vision. The purpose of this system is twofold. First, data set creation, the user is able to render many random views of a randomly generated polyhedral scene or an uploaded 3D scene in wavefront format. Second, on demand. Like an active vision task, the user is able to set the next view to gather another angle of the scene, available through this web page and web API. We will walk through both features one by one, starting with the dataset creation. First, select the dataset creation option. Next, choose whether you want to use our generator to create a new scene or if you want to upload your own scene. If you want to upload your own scene, select Upload Scene and select a wavefront file located on your computer. Next, you can choose your preferred lighting conditions. Homogeneous lighting uses six hemispherical light sources pointing towards the center of the object. Fixed spotlight uses a single spotlight. You will get stronger shadows using the fixed spotlight. Once decided on the lighting condition, select how many randomly chosen views of the scene you would like. Let's choose four, for example. Last but not least, provide the system with an email address. Before we click Submit, let's walk through the option of using our generator to create a polyhedral scene. Click on Use Generator, and you will see that the input fields change. Number of objects specifies how many objects the scene will have. The range is depending on the scene layout, which is indicated in the comment below the input field. For the scene layout, we have three options. Separate, some touching, and some intersecting. If we want a scene with distinct object, we click on separate, and we can see that the possible range for number of objects just changed to be 1 to 18. The remaining options are the same as before. Let's stick to two views, enter the email address, and click Submit. The system will process the request now and will send an email once complete. All right, let's check the email. It will be from polyhethral at eecs.yorku.ca. The email contains, besides some lines of text, the link to download your generated dataset. Click on the link, and your dataset, compressed as a zip file, will download. Once you unzip your dataset, you will get a folder with random views of the scene, plus annotation files for every rendering telling the camera parameters and the chosen scene settings. The ID, which is also pointed out in the email, is crucial for feature 2 on-demand request, which we will demonstrate right now. Let's assume you want to render further views of the generated scene. Go back to your web browser and click on-demand request. Enter the ID which can be found in the email or in the annotation files. You can then choose to have the camera placed for you randomly or to set it yourself. Let's select Defined to set the camera to a certain position. On the right, a little toy scene shows up which lets us set the camera parameters by moving the green ball around. The green ball represents the camera. Once the green ball is positioned, the camera gets automatically oriented towards the center of the scene. Alternatively, you can enter the camera parameters by hand. X, Y, and Z stand for the position of the camera, and QW, QX, QY, and QZ for the orientation using quaternion to express the rotation. Please note the orientation is expressed as an intrinsic rotation of the camera. Last but not least, we can choose the lighting conditions. Let's go with homogeneous lighting. We click on submit and our demand request gets submitted. We will get updated about the current process. Once finished, the newly generated view will be displayed in a pop-up window. In case you want to automize the on-demand request, please visit solbach.github.com slash polyhedral to find out more about how to use the API. We provide examples of code in different programming languages, as well as descriptions about the API. For further information, please read the associated paper. 
A link to the paper can be found on the homepage. We hope this video was useful and you will enjoy using the polyhedral scene generator.